Vlogmas, Kristen LeVanway here, vlogging every day in August, day five, and today's message, very simple, choose joy. So I have a dear friend, um, her and I would every year choose three words to guide us through the year. It's kind of a neat exercise to really kind of, you know, every year reflect on what's important to you for the next 365 days. And every year she would choose the word joy. For like many years she chose the word joy, which seems trite almost. And you know, well, yeah, okay. But what was cool was she didn't just choose the word, but she actually made it a mission in her life. And I learned a lot as I saw her start that journey and actually have a very joyful life. And so I, I just, I didn't feel good today. I had kind of a blah day. And I was trying to think about what to talk about today. And then I thought about, you know what? Yes, I need to go back and reflect on that joyful life. So here's five things to help you lead a joyful life. These are things that'll help me anyways. Hopefully they help you too. First of all, be intentional. So you have to set the intention to have a joyful life, right? It doesn't just happen by accident. It doesn't just come your way. It's an intention. It involves choice. Choose joy. Next, you have to honor and respect yourself. So I know a lot of people, me included, we sometimes feel like we don't deserve happiness or joy. We kind of put ourselves down. So one of the first things you have to do is honor yourself and say, yes, I want a joyful life. I deserve a joyful life. So that would be the second step. Third, be mindful of taking on other people's burdens. I think right now it's so easy, you know, you watch the news or your friends are having a hard time and you take all that on. And it's not that you don't care about other people. Certainly empathy is a big part of a joyful life, but there's only so much you can do for other people, right? So you kind of have to keep it um, balanced as you're uh, supporting your friends. You can't take their burdens on, but you can support them as they are um, working through their difficult times or supporting them in good times. Sometimes that takes a lot of energy too. So be just be careful about what you take on. Um, and make sure that it's things you can have some control and influence over. Number four, and this was when that we worked really hard on my friend and I, when we would meet, we met regularly like every week to talk about this. And this was um, something that she kind of had to work on was the idea of serenity and simplicity. I think sometimes people think joy needs to be big and bold and splashy and, you know, Instagram worthy, but actually it can be very simple and peaceful and even boring. Those can be elements of joy. And then the last thing is as you go through your days, your weeks, your months, and things come along, ask yourself, does this bring me joy? And it could be a, a, an event, it could be a person in your life. And if the answer is yes, more of that. If the answer is no, less. And that really is it in a nutshell. Just do the, you know, just go through the intention of having a joyful life. Kind of use those little hints there and uh, wishing you all a joyful life. Make it a good one. See you tomorrow.